What is up you guys and welcome back to another video breaking down some of the best jobs on the internet today. Of course, I'm going to tell you about PayPal because it's a super bomb job. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Before we jump into all of those things though, because I do have some other companies that I want to share with you as well. I want to tell you that if you are deep into this job search thing, like if you are looking for another job and you know you need more leads than what you can find on the internet, I have a whole community that is bringing you the best leads that we find every single week. So that's worldwide job leads, that's part-time job leads, that's non-phone job leads, whatever it is that you're looking for, we have a good handle on the job leads part of it, okay? So we got all the job leads, and if you are ready to jump in and secure the job, you can visit us at securethejobkit.com. All that information will be down in the description box below. Let's go ahead and jump into this first company though. We're looking at Prudential and they have a lot of different services they offer in terms of offering retirement plans. They have investment accounts and even being able to insure certain things. Now, they are currently hiring for a customer service professional. Of course, this is a remote position. One of the good things that they mentioned right off the top is that they are offering paid training and benefits on day one. This is also including tuition reimbursement, but we're gonna get into the benefits in a, just a little bit, okay? Let's get into what this possession actually looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. Now they're looking for you to start in this role and be a self-starter. They need you to be dependable, so showing up exactly when you are supposed to, having grit and tenacity. They want you to have all these qualities to be able to thrive in this position. Now, this is a customer-based position and they want you to be obsessed with their customers, engaging them, enjoy the work that you're gonna do working directly with them. You need to be flexible, be able to think on your feet, be good with problem solving and connecting with each customer and giving them an experience each time you talk with someone new. Now, what you can expect with this company and the position is being able to build a career with them. So this sounds like that they are encouraging you to level up within their company. So this is a good thing if this is a company that you do want to grow with because obviously they do have some other positions that you can kind of grow into. Definitely make sure that you're okay with a fast paced environment because that is exactly what you're going to be working with every single day. They have different promotional opportunities that you can get. So bonuses and things like that based off of your performance. Now you'll be working with customers over the phone online, which I would guess through their website and then also through email. Now you will be doing different things from troubleshooting different questions that they have on the website in terms of how to navigate, get to this part of the website, how to do this, log in or whatever kind of issues that they're having. Also having conversations with them on different financial decisions. So all of those things are gonna fall under the umbrella of what you will be doing with these customers on a day-to-day -day basis. But regardless of what that is, they want you to make sure that you are keeping the customers at the forefront and delivering them the best customer service experience that you can. Now, qualifications for the position, they would really like it if you had a four year degree, but that is just preferred. So if you don't, don't let that hold you back. Make sure that you beef up that resume and get it in because that is just a preferred qualification. Now you do need to have strong people skills, being dependable. Having financial service knowledge is a plus, also not a qualification or a must have. You need to be able to learn and retain a large amount of technical information, self-motivated, active listening skills, and then they also talk about your training down here and the schedule that they have is nine to 5.15 Eastern time, but they are gonna talk more with you about that after you are going to be brought onto the team. They'll let you know everything that you need to know in terms of when you'll be training. Now, you also need to be flexible with your schedule. They're open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So one of the good things is that you don't have to work on the weekends, but during the times that they're open, they need you to be available to be able to work any shift. Now, they are gonna have some different requirements for you in terms of working from home, some different requirements for your internet speed, also wireless headsets, I mean, a wired headset that you need to have, a quiet area and different things like that. Definitely make sure that you come back and check out this page for all of the other qualifications that they do have. 
Now this position is starting off at $41,000 a year and going up to about $62,000. And remember this is a base pay because you do have the opportunity to earn different bonuses and things like that based off of your performance. So that 60,000 could turn into, I don't know, 80,000. Let's go ahead and move on though to our next company. This is a company called GE Current. This company is all about lighting and everything that comes with that but they are hiring for a material data entry specialist. This is a fully remote role, but you would also work in the office if you would like to, if you live close to the Greenville, South Carolina or the Beachwood, Ohio area. Now you are gonna be responsible for end of cycle planning and also data entry related to material components of the SAP. Now in this role, you are going to be doing some data entry related things as well as developing strong cross-functional relationships to be able to understand different processes and be proactive in task management. Now, what they are requiring that you have is three or more years of experience working with manufacturing data, two years of project management, minimum one year of wind shuttle experience, excellent analytical and problem solving skills, and strong communication. Now, they do have some other qualifications there as well that you definitely wanna make sure you take a look at, but just remember that when you're looking at these different jobs, if you don't check off everything on this qualification list, that does not mean that you are disqualified and it doesn't mean that you should not put in your resume, okay? If they don't feel like you are fit for the position, they will let you know that. But if you are in my private membership group and you are getting the job leads, I will also be guiding you on what you need to put in your resume so that you can put your best foot forward and increase your chances of getting a call back, okay? Now they are also giving benefits for this position. They are another company that has this unlimited PTO but this company is calling it a permissive time off policy. This is gonna be if you are a full-time employee, but they give you the flexibility to rest, relax, and recharge away from work. And I've seen a lot more companies do this, and I think it is such a good thing to recognize that we are not workhorses, okay? We want to be able to chill and put our feet up sometimes too, and not have to worry about our bills being paid. So. Being able to take time off and still get paid for it is really a dope benefit. Now, they also do paid company holidays, your regular benefits, so medical, dental, vision, disability, and life insurance, 401k with an immediate company match, that is cool, and then flexible spending account options for pre-tax employees. So those are the benefits, and this position is coming in at $75,000 on the low end, going up to $90,000. So if you have any experience with data entry and different things like that, especially like they talked about with the manufacturing, make sure you get your resume in, okay? Don't be intimidated, don't be shy. They'll let you know if, if you're the right fit for the position. Now, before we get into this next job, we need to talk about the side hustle that you need to start because we know that these companies have their own timelines, they have their own thoughts about things, and sometimes that doesn't align with us continuing to work for these companies. They have layoffs, they have downsides, and then sometimes people just don't have no reason at all, and you get let go. And I'm telling you from experience, this has happened to me, and I was one of those workers who was the A1. Like I wanted to have everything done the right way. I wanted to make sure I played by the book, by the rules, and I still got let go, okay? I'm trying to tell you, these companies ain't loyal. Like they do not care. So because of that, we need you to have a side hustle because I don't care what they decide. At the end of the day, you are gonna know exactly how to bring money in for yourself, for your family. And even if this doesn't come in handy with your job, hopefully it doesn't, but you are still gonna be able to use this same money to go on vacations, to spoil your kids, to spoil yourself. Like I'm trying to tell you, getting a side hustle is a win-win. So you need to go ahead and learn how to do that. I have set up a complete guide to tell you the top side hustles that you can get into on the internet today, which means you only need about an hour, an hour a day, or even just the weekends, whatever time you have, I'm telling you, a lot of people are doing nap time hustles, lunch time hustles, and being able to make and build a substantial income. So if this is something you're ready to tap into, I've got all the information that you need to get started with these online side hustles. 
down in the description box below. So go ahead and tap in. And in the meantime, we're gonna get into this next position. <laughs> so we are looking at a company called Cigna. They are famously known for their healthcare. I believe they do have some other companies today as well, but we're gonna get into what they're hiring for right now, which is a claims representative. This is a remote position. You're gonna be delivering admin and other basic business services in their claims department. So you're gonna be the one who looks at these claims and decides whether they need to be returned, whether they are denied, or whether they are going to get paid. You'll be interacting with different agents and claimants by mail or phone to be able to correct the claims and the errors or things that, that were left out and investigate questionable entries like, mm, that don't even seem right. Like, let's make sure this is accurate. Now on a day to day, you're gonna be reviewing those submissions to confirm that the documents have been received. You're gonna verify medical codes, eligibility, and other insurance. Follow their established policies and procedures to pay, or if you need to get additional information, or if it's just not gonna fly altogether. <laughs> you are gonna to need to follow the processes and work independently to meet or exceed your key performance indicators. You'll maintain a high level of accuracy because after all, you are the person checking for errors. Like if you make an errors and you're the person checking for errors, like it's not gonna be working out. Now qualifications for this role, high school diploma or equivalent, you need a high level of computer navigation skills. So if you are not good with the computer, probably not a good uh, position for you. You need to be proficient in Microsoft applications. This includes Word, Excel, Outlook, OneNote, and you know, they got a thousand other programs out there, but being proficient in those is a great thing. Knowledge in medical and insurance terminology is preferred. So if you don't know that, no worries. If you do know that, make sure you highlight it. Medical coding knowledge is also preferred. You must be able to type for uh, longer periods of time and you need to be able to learn a variety of benefit plans that they have, cause guess and they got a lot of them. <laughs> And you need to be able to make a high volume of phone calls to providers to get the required information that you need to move forward with your plan. Now, of course they do have some other requirements in terms of your internet and things like that. So I'll make sure that you take a look back at this post so that you can see the requirements. Now they are doing an hourly rate for this position starting out at $17 an hour and going up to $26 an hour to work from home. You don't need a degree. You don't need any experience in terms of having the having any prior knowledge to claims. This is a dope position. So go ahead and tap in. Again, if you are in my membership, I have already sent out the keywords that you need to add to your resume so that they can go ahead and call you up, okay? Now, PayPal is hiring and uh, I feel like everybody know about PayPal. Now they are one of the biggest biggest online processors for money. I think they even took over Square. Like they, they be doing it. I, I'm not a big fan, <laughs> but they be doing it business wise. They are hiring for a customer success manager. And yes, this is a remote role. Now you're gonna be primarily responsible for developing and maintaining customer relationships to be able to promote growth, loyalty, and retention. So they want those customers to stay with them and that's gonna be part of your job. Now you're gonna work close with their customer executives and the decision makers to understand their business model, what's going on with them and how you can better help them. So at the end of the day, you are going to wanna make sure that you're able to help these business owners understand how PayPal can help their business with the things that they already offer. If you remember on the last page that we just saw, PayPal is even coming out with some new like point of sale systems and stuff like that. So in addition to the stuff that they already have, like PayPal can actually be helpful to a lot of companies. And so in this position, you're gonna be making sure that you highlight those things. Now, for the responsibilities in this position, you're gonna be over the overall customer experience and managing this relationship that you have with the customer. You're going to do regular account planning and business review calls with them. Again, you're gonna be making sure to let them know why PayPal is of importance. What value is PayPal bringing to them and their business? You're going to work closely with different teams within PayPal, like sales, 
marketing, IT, finance departments, and different things like that. And of course, you want to be able to anticipate the needs of your customers. Like, is Mark gonna need a new point of sale system since he's opening up a new store? Like, if he does, you are gonna wanna make sure that you're on top of that. And that just comes with knowing the customers. And that means you have to build relationships with them in order to know exactly what they need. Now, some skills and knowledge that they want you to have, selling, negotiating, and relationship management skills are very important for this role. Leveraging internal and external communication skills. So being able to talk to the people who work for PayPal and also the people who don't. Being able to organize and analyze data to communicate during face-to-face -face video or phone-based meetings. This can be within the team and also just for the people outside, the, the customers that you're looking to acquire. You need to be familiar with PayPal PayPal and the payment industry, more specifically on how they compare to their competitors. You also need to be able to work independently and they are requiring that you be able to travel as needed to their client sites. This probably could be to help them set up, to be able to help them with any problems. Like you are really the person who is going to be making sure that they stay with PayPal. Now you also need to understand the computer, different software applications, Microsoft Office, and just different things like that. Because if you don't know how to connect it, you probably ain't gonna be able to help them very much. So being familiar with those things is very important. Now. They also do have some benefits for this position, which is gonna include some performance bonuses. So you do have the potential to make even more money than what the base pay is. And they also are giving equity in the company, medical dental vision, and they also have some other benefits. So if you wanna take a look at that, you can check out that website there. Now, this position is coming in at $53,000 a year and you can make as much as $137,000 for the year. So if you're ready to tap in with PayPal, if you're ready to make some money, if you're ready to level up, if you're ready to get some help, tap in with me because I got your back, boo.